Welcome to the Logistics Point interviews. Uh, we are joined today by Andrew Chan for, from Aftership. So please tell us a bit more about Aftership. What do you do? So Aftership is a post-purchase platform for uh, uh, retailers selling online on different platforms, for example, Shopify, Salesforce, Magento, helping the brands to provide a better experience on the post-purchase part related to tracking, returns, and even shipping. And what do you think is the probably the biggest problem or challenge when it comes to post-purchase and making it work for retailers and for companies and in the end for the consumer as well? The post-purchase experience is related to the retention. So imagine you buy something on your website as a consumer, right? And then in the past, the carriers, oh, sorry, the retailers tend to say, hey, you know what? This is the tracking number go to the carry website and deal with it. So I think the first thing is like getting the retailers to understand the post-purchase is actually part of, is actually a big part of the customer journey for driving um, retention. Uh, loyal customers, you know, to make them happy, customer support had to go all the way. And do you think retailers have reached that point where now they understand that I cannot just leave the my customer at the end of the purchase, I need to also take them forward? They do understand, but the, the thing is pushing them is a higher priority. Um, so everyone needs to understand the retention, how important it is for your for your brand, which is, I would say, very important if you are a brand because 80% come from 20% of the customers, which is the loyal one. So I would say they, they really understand. The question is like, what is the te technology uh, adoption? So I would say uh, uh, that is the next step, uh, which... We see uh, brands like uh, from IKEA to Levi's to um, uh, to Amazon, eBay. You know, many people are leading the way, but uh, it's just like the other brands have to follow a little bit faster because uh, uh, time is clicking, and I think they realize that they just need to act fast. And speaking about the future, what do you think the future holds for the post purchase post purchase experience? First thing is about. Uh, Post-purchase experience is not just talk about experience. First, like, the company needs to have the, this post-purchase role in the company and then start to measure post-purchase uh, experience, how much revenue is driving to, to the customer, us to the merchants. So example, like we talk about the brand tracking uh, page and notifications, all the different touch points, how many touch points it has created to, in order to generate the revenue after purchase. Right. So uh, the trend is like not just seeing experience. It's just, OK, improve customer experience and then improve touch point. No, nope. there's a money value associated to it. And that's how you calculate the ROI. And of course, I uh, help how the uh, um, other metrics get improved with the post purchase, for example, reducing the customer support tickets and improve this uh, NPS goal and or like the email open rate and click rate. Many people see post-purchase, okay, it's just customer click here and there. Nope. How do you know the exception in advance uh, before the customer find out? Uh, in the past, customers would complain, hey, I, I, I got the package lost or like uh, not delivered. Can you check? But ask yourself if you are loyal customers, you already get pissed, right? So do you want to come back to the store after you complain? 80% won't come back. So brands have to go a little bit more proactive. I won't say five years, like this year or next year, like have to do it. It's just like very outdated. Well, Andrew, thank you very much for your time and for your insights. And for mm. everyone watching and listening, you can learn a bit more in description down below. Thank you. Thank you.